mean, I kind of, I knew I was attracted to women, but I thought I could pray the gay away. My name is Commissioner Patty Sheehan, and I'm a survivor of the ex-gay ministries. And I represent a, uh, a lot of downtown Orlando. Usually my job is everything from zoning to what we build to doing great things like our Performing Arts Center, but I'm also the first openly gay elected official in Central Florida. I got involved with this group called Eleutheros, and it was uh, very much a pray the gay away and everything like that and I kind of at that point I kind of knew what was going on and I thought okay and I said well you know you, you'll be fine you just can't act on your urges and we're going to get you in this youth group and they kept pushing me towards dating men and I'll never forget this one date that they set up this this fellow that wanted to be a preacher and he had a powder blue leisure suit and white shoes and we had nothing in common except for the fact that he had, he, we, they kind of like put all the gay kids together because that way we wouldn't pollute the, uh, you know, the other church members. They were trying to get the lesbians and the gay men to date. I don't know what the thinking was on that. But uh, he, I remember he, he insisted on driving my car. He didn't have a car. I had to go pick him up. I had a full-time job. I had all this, I got a car. And he insisted on letting me drive. He insisted that he had to drive the car because he was the man. I thought, well, that's really kind of crazy. Um, and then he couldn't drive the car because he couldn't drive a stick shift. <laughs> and he got mad because I beat him at air hockey. The mucus was going to emanate from me as the, as the demon of homosexuality, homosexuality left my body. This is what they told me, that it would leave my body in an orange mucus. I found out later that a lot of the guys were hooking up. <laughs> you know, they still were doing everything that they said they weren't supposed to be doing. They were dating women, but they were still having these pool parties and all this other stuff. And they were still doing the, the deed. It, it, was, it was kind of interesting how it was just this, as long as you pretended, you know, like you were trying to become straight. It's a lot of play acting. It was a lot of play acting at the time. You know, of course, they were trying to get me to wear dresses, and that just was not happening. They really wanted to change me in that way, and I felt very uncomfortable with, with being in this rigid role. I mean, I really, I, I already knew about Stepford Wives and all that. I'd read all this stuff. That was, I think my education had really gotten in my way of the indoctrina indoctrination. So I ended up leaving the church. Um, I dated my first woman that I met because I was working three jobs at a time. I met her through a job that I had, and I guess I'm a I guess I'm a Lutheran in Exodus's greatest failure, and I'm proud of that. To those who are thinking about entering an ex-gay ministry, I would really encourage you to get some counseling outside of the church and to really get a handle on where you're at because I think that they will take advantage of you, um, they will make you dependent, and they will not do what's in your best interest. Um, it took me a long time to be able to heal from the, uh, I would say, abusive um, things I was told about who I could be as a woman and who I could be in terms of, you know, how I could pos you know, positively express my sexuality. And I think that before you enter into anything like this, it is, it is no longer considered a, a mental illness from the American Psychiatric Association to be a lesbian or a gay person, unlike when I was coming out. And I think it's really important to realize there's nothing wrong with you and get yourself some help outside of a church. If you want to go to church and you, once you're kind of firmly established in your, in your identity and who you are, and you want to it, it, you want to find if there are spiritual a avenues available to you that will affirm who you are. I think you should do that. But do not, as a young person, do what I did. It took me years, a lot of substance and alcohol abuse, and personal suffering, and bad relationships for me to be able to self accept. A lot of it because of what I was told was wrong with me when I was around these religious people. There are now places you can go that won't 
that won't tell you you're bad or wrong, and that's where you need to go. And and I think that event uh, there's 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 a lot of research that shows that this ex gay ministry stuff doesn't work. That denying who you are doesn't work. Being happy with who you are works. You can only hope that love and goodness will 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 spread as a ripple effect. Um, that's my hope anyway.